Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 51, and this is war number one. First war of the season. Yay! And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Raise Your Fist! Let's see, who did they... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Kick off. Who did they ban? Oh, of course they banned Hulkling. Uh, they banned Hercules, but I wasn't planning on bringing him anyway. And uh, Void. Yeah, this is going to be fun. A fun season. And they globally banned, of course, Corvus and CGR. They were just too good. So I'm not surprised there. And Kushala, who I don't have, is ban immune. And Domino, who I do have, but I don't really use on my path. All right. So let's see what we got going on here. Look at that. They're already raring to go. Okay, now they already have a plan uh, in place for me. I have not looked at it yet. So just looking at this, first of all, neither one of these champions here benefit from the node. So I could just bring in a counter to either one of them, okay? Uh, now this one here, um, path three, section two, both of them benefit and both of them get armor ups. Now, Gladiator probably wouldn't be great for these. Uh, I have used him against um, Future Ant-Man and it didn't go too well. Um, Honestly, the best option that I have found on this node is Magneto. There are others, of course. Um, Claire could most likely do this fight. So we'll see who he has uh, planned for me. And then if, uh, <laughs> Infinity Iron Man. Hmm. Infinity War Iron Man. He's annoying, to say the least. And with his armor ups that he gets, you really want somebody that's shock immune. So, you know, they got rid of Hulkling. But we do have some shock immune champs. Um, Terax would be one. Um, the only reason I, I don't like Terax for this uh, Ant-Man is that when you armor break, uh, future Ant-Man, he gets a passive armor up. So I don't really like that. Um, but yeah, so these two, really anybody, um, Onslaught would be great. He can block um, Nick Fury, his unblockable. And he could also do that uh, Tiger. So I might try to uh if, if he doesn't have anyone else i might uh suggest that um so it would be onslaught magneto and honestly magneto could also do that iron man he has a reduction on bleed and shock when they're magnetized so um Magneto might be able to do both of those uh, fights. And um, Onslaught could do both of those if need be. And I don't know who he's going to assign. He, he's going to assign me uh, one of these minis here. Um, you know, this bishop... Stunning Reflection, Polka Dot, 
Uh, that's um, Lady Deathstrike. Lady Deathstrike could handle that uh, fight pretty uh, easily, I think. So if it were up to me, it would be Lady Deathstrike, Magneto, and Onslaught. Okay, let's see. Uh, he has a, a um, spreadsheet up. So I'll take a look at that spreadsheet and we'll be back with the fighting. All right, we're going in with Onslaught, Namor, and Magneto. All right, you can see all of those champions are ascended, but they're not all rank fives. Um, Onslaught is rank five. Uh, Namor and Magneto are not. They're still rank four, but they're both ascended. Okay, one of these days I'll probably take um, Namor or Magneto up, but at rank four ascended, they're doing what they need to do. Okay, so I'm going to boost up a little bit here. And this first fight is going to be against Tigra. And it's just going to be a regular fight. She does not benefit from the nose. She doesn't gain armor up. So uh, there's nothing that I need to worry about except her specials and her attacks, you know, her animation. And I am familiar with fighting her. So I do not anticipate any problems in this fight. Okay. Um, but still going to boost up just in case. And I remember uh, we I was assigned a different champion, but I was like, you know what? I want to use Onslaught. I see that Onslaught could take both these fights. And I think I use him elsewhere. Uh, but Onslaught definitely, you know, he's not in any particular way, you know, a better counter than someone else against Hydra. But he can still do his thing. You know, look at him. And of course, because I run the uh, recoil um, suicide masteries, I like to use champions that are immune in some way, shape, or form. Friendly to them, or they even benefit from it, you know? So, in any case, you know, we're just fighting her. Uh, doesn't matter her unblockable as long as you know what you're doing. Just look at this. Ugh. That just looked nasty. I actually like her special two better than her special one as far as um, evading. And yeah, I had I wanted to turn off. I always forget to do that. To put on the do not disturb. Until I see a message come up. I'm like, okay, it came up in the middle of the fight, distracted me. This is the first war. I'm trying not to give up a death, you know? So this next fight, I love Onslaught for fighting Nick Fury. One, he's mutant, so I can manage uh, Nick Fury's uh, tactical charges much, much better. And he can block Nick Fury's unblockable special one. I like that, okay? So there was no way I wanted to go in with somebody else. Just look at this. Oh, that damage is looking nice. And we're going to try to extend it a little bit. See if we can get him. Now, if you can punish his heavy with a heavy, and I think also, um, I think it also works with the specials. Uh, it'll give you an extended pause in his neuro shocks. Okay? Just look at that. And it don't matter. It, it's not unblockable, but it wouldn't have mattered if it was. It is so much nicer fighting Nick Fury when you have Onslaught, let me tell you. My Onslaught's only a six star, but that's okay for now. I'll take it. Just look at this. Look at, look at, look at the damage. He's just going down. Come on, come on. And I noticed, you see how they ran out right before they could take him out? 
I've noticed that a lot. You know, you got like a damage over time, you know, and if it's been off for a while, I guess it's because of the uh, diminishing returns or something like that. But it seems like it does less damage as time goes on. And it just kind of peters out right before it would actually take them out. Unless, of course, you start it when they're almost gone and then it'll take them all the way out. All right. Now, this fight here, I don't like bringing anybody into this fight that's going to try to armor break him or anything like that. Gladiator, while he can do this fight, it's very dicey. And if I make even one little mistake, he's going to get his armor up, and I have no way of getting rid of it. So I don't like using Gladiator for this particular fight. Okay? Um, but Magneto is perfect. He's who I, I tend to use whenever I see uh, future Ant-Man on that node. I'm bringing Magneto. If they ban Magneto, we got others that we can use. Um, but as long as we can bring Magneto, that's who we're going to bring for that fight. Um, not even Hulkling does well uh, against uh, future Ant-Man on that node, that is. But with Magneto... It's just parry heavy. And you'll notice also that because I'm doing a parry heavy and he's magnetized, I don't really have to worry about too much anyway about him evading or blocking me or anything like that because while he's magnetized, that's unlikely. And because I don't believe they can auto block or evade while magnetized. I'm not sure, but I don't think they can. And even if they were to be able to, I'm only hitting him really when he's stunned. And they definitely can't evade or um, uh, auto block while they're stunned, at least not yet. This AI, man. Anyway, now we come up against um, Iron Man Infinity War. And I was a little concerned about this one. I was fairly certain that Magneto could take this fight. But I was a little worried, you know? So he's magnetized, and I'm like, okay, because Infamous, uh, uh, I mean, not Infamous, um, uh, Iron Man, he can be really tricky. But one thing that I look at is the damage. You see how much damage I'm doing with my uh, heavy attack? That's because this Magneto is SIG 200. There is a reason to take Magneto to SIG 200. And you're looking at it. Okay, he does more damage on his uh, heavy attack. He gets like a burst of damage and it increases the higher his SIG. Okay, now I remember when, uh, you know, Iron Man Infinity War first came out. People had so much trouble with him. Uh, I did not because I knew how to fight him. Hyperion was my MVP at that time, and then later it was Corvus. And I would have used Corvus here if he wasn't banned, but that's okay. Corvus will rise again. There will be a time when he is banned immune. Then what you gonna do? Yeah, I'm waiting for that time. But for now, we're making it. We're making it. All right. So, so far, so good. Haven't given up any deaths. Now, this fight here. When I saw the um, assignment, I'm like, well, Namor is normally really good for Korg, right? But the damage that Namor reflects gets reflected as energy. And this node has that high energy diet. So I was like, hmm, is that gonna work out? But then I thought, okay, wait a minute. Namor's regular attacks are not energy. It's only when he reflects the damage. So I'm thinking what I can do is go in, fight him like normal, 
get his shield down. I won't be doing any damage, really, uh, to him because of the high energy diet. And once I have the shield down, then it's a, a you know, regular old, you know, Korg fight there, right? And so that's what I'm hoping for going into this fight. Namor, I don't know if I'm going to take him to rank five because he's available as a seven star. It's going to be a long time before you get a seven star Namor rank, um, you know, whatever, uh, SIG 200. Uh, but you see that I, you know, put on the invulnerability boost. That should tell you that I was a little bit nervous about this fight and how it was going to go. I wasn't sure. Funny thing is, if it went badly the way that I was thinking it might, the invulnerability boost wouldn't help. I wouldn't be able to finish the fight. All right, but as you can see here, shield is shattered, and he's he's taking him. Look at that. He's going down. All right? So we're having fun. I'm like, okay, we can do this. Now, every time I get a um, buff and it expires or, or anything like that, and, of course, I get a buff there, I get power drain. So that's annoying. But I do get a chance to uh, fire off some special ones every now and again. Okay? So I'm just like, all right. And then I could have fired that off. But it caught me by surprise. Not only that, but he was already at two bars. And I don't know if I wanted to do that anyway. So missed my opportunity to, to get a little bit of a faster uh, fight going on here. All right? But it's all good. We're still getting him. You know, a little bit slower than, than I would like, but we're getting him. And I'm just like, okay, okay. We don't have to worry about it. There's his rock shield. And the nice thing about it is his rock shield will come back. Um, it'll take longer. He'll have a longer cooldown each time you take down the rock shield. So it becomes easier, okay? So you can see here, he got his rock shield back, but... He only had like five charges, okay? And right here, boom, it's down again, all right? So really nice. And as you can see, Namor, look at that. We got it again, and this time I was able to fire off that special too and do a little bit more damage, all right? So that was it for all my fights in this war. And... uh you know, good, good uh, matchups there. And we'll be back in a moment and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. First war of the season and we lost it. Now, I'm not going to make any excuses for our performance. However, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a uh, background, um, behind the scenes info. Uh, we let go several members of the Alliance. I don't remember how many, but it was like three or four. Okay. And we brought in some new folks and some of them seem like they were here before. And so, you know, we're still working out, you know, the kinks, everybody's getting, uh, settled in. Uh, I believe one person uh, didn't realize that we were uh, on season and thought this was an off-season war. Uh, so just a little bit of, of what's going on behind the scenes, okay? Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord the King Crown